Hi, I'm Dr. Tony Mork. Uh, today, I'd like to just talk about uh, controlling one of the factors that is very annoying during these endoscopic spinal procedures, and that is the issue of bleeding. So, uh, there's a couple different ways to control bleeding. One is from the endoscope side, and the other is from the fluid restrictor side of the tube. And uh, I'm fortunate enough to have David Breslau here from Richard Wolf Medical to show us how to control the pressure uh, from the scope side when doing one of these uh, spinal endoscopic procedures. So take it away, David. There are two basic methods to reduce fluid res to reduce the fluid flowing back out through the portal. The initial would be to attach this small attachment to the back of the scope. But I want, to, I want to point out that the majority of work can be done without putting any attachments in so ever. So it's essentially, you can just work with the uh, scope as it was in the beginning with nothing at all. It's only when you're having a little bit of trouble with fluid, that uh, pressure, that you might want to be doing what David is now do putting in here. So the attachment is placed and then a small rubber sealing cap still allowing instruments to be passed through from one end through the scope. Now also keep in mind that there's three colors of these uh, little uh, sort of uh, I know, covers uh, to pass different size instruments. So David just... Uh, the, the most common, commonly used for endoscopic spine procedures is this gray. There are also smaller, which is a red, and even smaller than the red is a black. It just describes the amount of opening access portal to the scope. Okay, so with, do we, okay, and then what else can, so this is for one set of services. What if we had, so what's the next level of? Uh... The next level would require several pieces to be assembled. The first is the attachment that basically screws onto that same component on the endoscope. And then there are, there's a conical adapter that has a membrane inside of it to, to control the bleeding. Now explain that you want to put the membrane in at what point? The membrane is placed inside the cap of the conical adapter and then those two pieces are screwed together and then that way this can be inserted when necessary to create some form of hemostasis back pressure and then removed by depressing this portion still allowing work to be done through that channel and accomplishing the goal of removal of tissue in the spinal canal. Okay. Okay, is that is that pretty much wrap it up? Those are the two options that will be available currently with the Wolf Endoscopic Spine System. Thanks for watching. If you've got any questions, please contact me or the office. Stay tuned for more videos.